So basically, in this video, it is a money glitch. It works a hundred percent, like legit. I bought, like, I mean, yeah, I bought, like, eight one mil cars all for free. I kept all my money. So before I get into the video, I just need to make sure you guys do these things. First, subscribe like to my recent videos and comment to enter the shout out series because the shout out series ends um at seven tonight which is sunday uh currently there's no one that's entered so far which makes it um even better look for the people that do enter if no one even enters in the whole thing then uh it's a bit awkward because I'll have nothing to do. Um, but a lot of people entered last time, so make sure to enter again if you already have or you knew or whatever. But let's try and break 10 likes in this video because this video is actually like amazing. It works 100%. And yeah, I'm going to get straight into it. I want to go through this quick because uh, it might take a long time because I want to do it slowly so everyone understands but I want to do it quick as well because it might take a long time if I do that so basically you want to go into story mode for the first thing you want to go into settings controls and make sure you're on free aim or your friend is on free aim because you need to have a friend for this or if you're on free aim yourself you can just join a random person's game as long as they're on an assisted aim um, but it's better if you have your friend because then you're guaranteed to get it right because he'll be on a system and you're on free aim. The reason for this is because when you join in your friend, which is later on in the video, he needs to be on a different um, shooting aim as you. I don't know why, it's just a random bit of the glitch. Now, basically, once you've sorted that out, your friend's got a sister aim, you've got free aim or other way around, doesn't really matter or you're just going to randomly hope for the best and join someone random that might have a sister name on uh yeah <laughs> let's get straight into this right so basically you want to go into story mode once you're in story mode you want to hold the touchpad go into your little menu here start up director mode now once you're in director mode which will be in a few seconds um there you what you want to do is you'll see at the top there's actors you click on actors and then you go down to online characters don't click on your online character first if you've got more than one character choose which character you want to get all the money on so I'm because I only have one it's obvious this one don't click on it click circle now click circle again and go to settings and choose all of the things that you want on in the online session so this is like two glitches in one that's why it's amazing you're getting millions and millions of money but you can also go jumping around with and flaming bullets it's like a little mod venue just not as good as a natural one so i'm just gonna put all these on sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does it's a bit of luck, chance or whatever. So far, it's happened to me twice. So uh, yeah, it, it was so fun. Um, but anyway, once you've chosen those, click circle, and then you just want to enter director mode. Your person will walk out like this. Just wait for this. And then what you want to do is go on your touchpad. This will come up, your little screen here. And then you want to click on scene creator. Now, what you want to do is once you're on scene creator, you want to press options. You want to go all the way across with our one, two, rockstar editor. Click on rockstar editor. And then go down to director mode. Click on director mode and you'll load back in the little casting um, thing. So, now what you want to do is go back on settings because everything will be turned off again. I don't know why invisibility always stays on, but. I don't know, just turn it off, turn it back on just in case. Um, put everything back on that you had before. It's got to be the things that you had on before or else the if you add any new ones it won't work. So they're all the ones I had on before. Um, then you want to come out of this and then you want to enter director mode again. Now 
Now this time in director mode, you want to hold the touchpad, go down to scene creator again. But this time, instead of going onto options and thingy in it, you want to go onto scene one. Then you want to go onto props, and then you want to find the prop that says stunt blocks. There, I just passed it by one. Right, now you've got stunt blocks. Don't place it, don't do anything with it. Press options again. Go to online. Oh wait, no, don't go to online. Go to scene creator. I mean, scene creator. Rocket editor. Rockstar editor. I'm getting things wrong here. Then click on director mode again. However, however, this time when you click X on this little thing, um, you want to press the PlayStation button and you want to go on to your new recent activity things and find someone um, that has got like a, done a bounty on GTA or they've gone to clove shopping. Um, it's got to be one of like something like that. It can't be like a hi I don't think it's a heist or anything. I yeah, just make sure it's like a bounty or someone's gone clove shopping or someone's spent money or something. Um, but you want to click on that and then there's four options you want to go down to the bottom one once you click on that person's like recent activity and then it should if you've clicked on one of the right ones say start gt online yeah you click on that and then you'll go into a loading screen so now i can't record my home screen i don't know why i don't know how to set it up or anything but it always ends the video if i click the playstation button while i'm recording so i'm going to quickly end this little video here and then i'm going to do that now okay now i've clicked on the person's thing and then i've clicked on start duty online now this is where you've got to like by the way this Pro this glitch is not rushed at all which is why you need to wait until like things like this happen because a lot of people as soon as this comes up they just press x that's where you go wrong you need to wait and you need to click circle because it won't work if you click x so you need to decline this r little thing and then you'll be stuck in this loading screen that means it's worked all right so now i'm gonna have to stop the clip again because um for this oh wait no never mind not yet for this bit you just press options go on to online i'll have to stop it again in a minute play gt online and then go don't join your friends or anything just play gt online and go yeah and then this bit just accept this bit and then you'll probably be stuck in this loading screen like this it won't load it'll just stay like this until you do this bit so now i'm just going to quickly explain it before i do it um but basically what you want to do is press the playstation button go to your playstation settings network and then when you click on network there'll be the first option there'll be like some words in it it'll say and then there'll be like a little box and it's ticked what you want to do is untick it when you untick it what it's doing is it takes you it's undoing it's like taking the networks features off so you you can't go on your friends or anything but what it'll do it will glitch this loading screen out it'll say quitting thing but it won't quit so once you've accepted that little alert or whatever and it says quitting session you want to go back onto the setting playstation settings network turn it back on hopefully this works first time for people but it sometimes it doesn't and you want to turn it back on and then um go back in accept the alert and then it should say quit in session for like three seconds but if it's worked the quit in session um little circle spinning around will be orange if it's orange after like three seconds it means that it's worked perfectly but if it stays white for like 20 seconds or something then you're gonna have to like do it again and just keep doing it until it goes orange and then it says joining gta online session so i'm going to stop this little video here and do it now okay now as you can see i've just done it and it's just it, the quitting session logo was orange and then now i'm joining a gta online session right now okay right now i'm back and then you should be in this loading screen now this is an online session so if you go on the map you could probably oh you could probably hear that as well as well look there's online people everywhere 
all over. There's jet up there. That's what just went over my head. But basically, now, I'm in my garage, actually. It doesn't look like it, but if you look on the map, I'm in my apartment, I'm in, and I'm in my garage. So if you look at this, I can actually walk out, and it'll do the animation of me walking out of the garage. Um, and that sometimes works to get off this loading screen. But to make sure it properly works, what I want you to do is... Because this always works when you do this. Go on to Press Options, Online, Jobs play a job rockstar created and then find any job doesn't matter what job it is just go onto the job and you'll be the hearst hopefully um and when you get onto the job you just want to quit the job and then you'll load back into gt online and you will be in your thing as normal Ooh. quit the job and then you'll load back in and i'm going to speed this bit up Okay, I didn't actually need to speed Hello? that up. I thought I was going to do, the, do that massive animation thing. But now it's normal. Perfectly normal. Um, and I can do the super jump. It's online. It worked. Get my thing out. Explosive bullet. Oh, that was an online player. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, that was an accident. I am invisible as well. No, I mean, invisible. Um, no one can kill me. Um, I'm gonna go and kill this dude up here. He's gonna be like, yo, what the fuck? Oh shit. I think someone ran me over. But yeah, I should have been invisible. Oh, yeah. After you die, everything gets uh, thinged, so that's a bit annoying. But yeah. I don't know why invisible didn't work. I think it's because I turned it back on and off again. But anyway, just don't die, basically. Um, anyway, after that, what you want to do is... if You can just mess around with that. By the way, as I did say, this is not like a time thing. You don't have to be quick about anything in this, like, at all. So, once that's done, the glitch is working and stuff. Because, as you can see, my phone is messed up. And then, you, if you go... If you, you, you'll always be on your camera for this bit. If you click on the little arrow on your PS4 controller that's going right, that's where the settings, I mean, that's where the internet should be. So go on your internet, click X. You can't see it because it glitched out. I've got like three mil and stuff because I've been doing it this morning. I spent all my money last night, so I might not have much. But I'm just going to find like a really expensive car. I always use... Um the most expensive one obviously because you can sell it for two mil can't you so this is here but before i buy that i always check that the glitch is properly worked before i buy anything so i don't waste all my money by buying this little bmx so i look at my money so if i buy this i'll have um 3.2 mil i think Okay, I'll know how much I got, because the 354 will go down. Buy the BMX. Okay, see, I just bought it, and it's my money's not gone down. So it works. So now if I go onto here, go down until I find this, get it in white, look at my money. Didn't go down. I just purchased that. None of my money just went down. Purchase another one. None of my money went down. I think I've got a room for one more. I'm just going to get it in pink. Purchased another one. They all come in my garage soon. I can't purchase any more because I've got a load of other cars that... Um... Ooh. I'm getting sidetracked here, sorry. I've got a load of other cars that um, are currently like already in there that I need to sell. Um... But basically, um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so once you've got all the cards that you want, you need to save the cards. But before you save the cards, you need to do um, this thing to make sure it works. So, what you want to do, I'm just going to get like this car up here. Uh, don't get any cards at your garage or it might like glitch out. 
Um, I don't know, but get a car and then you need to go get a helicopter. You can either call one in that you've got. Oh, by the way, you can get um, planes, you can get helicopters, you can get anything this, you can get anything from war stock or anything. Although you can't call in your Pegasus cars because your Pegasus thing, you can't get to your phone, so you can't call anyone, so you can't call Pegasus. So you won't be able to save if you buy anything from, oh my God. Wait, one sec. That was really loud. Um, if you've got any Pegasus vehicles, because you need to save the vehicles into your garage, you can't just buy them, quit the session, they'll be there like the next day. You need to save the vehicles or else they'll ghost. Save them. You need to go and get a helicopter. Oh my God. Okay, just put yourself in passive mode. That's, that'll be the best thing. Um, anyway. Uh, I'll try and explain this fa fast and then I'll speed it up. You need you need to go and get a helicopter. I'll show you the best place to get a helicopter and the fastest way is to go to... Um, this music's really loud. Aha, here. You need to head here. And if there's not a hel- oh my god. If there's not a helicopter there, then you need to go to the airport. Everyone knows where the airport is, so I'm not gonna explain that because it will take more time. I want this video to be as short as possible because it has to get out fast because I want everyone to know this glitch before it gets patched because it's a pretty awesome glitch and if they don't patch it then they're a bit dumb. So I'm going to speed it up now. Okay so basically once you've got the uh, helicopter you want to head to this location. I'm just going to go away from the police so they don't like shoot me um you want to head to um this location right here i remember it because this weird oval thing looks like the tip of a dick so i remember it no nah, I, I don't remember it if that i just remember it if that little circle thing that was just a joke i'm gonna speed it up now Okay, so basically once you get to this point here, you just want to fly all the way up. This sounds really stupid, but I'm I'm like not kidding you. This works 100%. You just want to fly all the way up when you get to this location, this, this location on the map. Fly up and then you'll see a black screen. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, I'm speeding it up. Okay, right. Never mind, I didn't speed it up, it just happened to s Whenever I say that, it always just happens. Right now, you'll be onto this black screen and it'll say it's loading, but it doesn't actually load anything. This is where you need to join your friend. Okay, so you press the PlayStation button, join your friend, and then what you want to do is accept the first notification, I mean alert, and decline the second one. Don't accept them both, only the first one, and then decline the second one. You've got to do that, it won't work, alright? So I'm going to end this video now and then I'm going to quickly do that. All right. So basically now you just accept the first one and decline the second one. And then you spawn right here. Now the money glitch will work and you'll have like seven mil or something because you can sell all your cars or you can keep all the cars. It doesn't really matter, but it's like two videos and I mean two glitches in one because you get like a little mod little menu thing well you don't get the actual mod menu but you get a little uh uh thing all those things to do like super jump and stuff but you also get all the cars so yeah so now once you join your friend session um you need to drive all your cars in and out so you gotta drive them out and then back in again you can also switch them out on the garage right switch them around but that doesn't work as well um i thought it did but it actually doesn't um so you need to drive them out and then back in again So yeah, it's basically it, and then you can just 
quit GTA Online, go back onto it, or find a new session. So I'm going to quickly do that, and then I'm going to speed it up. Alright, so basically, <clears throat> I've just got back on. I just closed the application, came back on. All the cars are here. Um, all here. All three. Um, the presser goes here. So the money glitch worked. Um, subscribe, like two videos, and comment if you want to be in the shout series. Um, try and break 10 likes on this. Uh, this works completely right. Um, I still got all my money, and I spent spent like more than three mil i spent like seven mil or like wait two four uh, yeah i spent like seven mil mate not seven mil like 6.5 mil on this actually no no i would have spent more than seven mil because you know anyway it's completely legit so yeah help me help you.